lot of people ask you about dietary related um, ways to uh, help with heart health, but I wanted to ask you about a few other ways. Um, one of them being the use of red and near infrared light um, oh, cool. to boost mitochondrial function. So is, oh, this, cool. is this something that you use in your clinic and you recommend to your, pa your patients who are enthusiastic? Yeah, you know, red light and near infrared light is something I've learned about in the last three to five years. I've read several books. There's you know, several hundreds, if not thousands, of actual academic research articles, academic books, some books for the public. You know, there's one that I like particularly for the public. Um, it's also called in the scientific world photobiomodulation, PBM, uh, but it's usually red light. And it's the idea that we are energy organisms that our mitochondria respond to external energy. Um, and it turns out that you can shine red light or near-infrared light on the body and it responds. The skin responds, but particularly near-infrared light can penetrate deeper. It's not UV light. It's not going to give you a suntan. It's not going to, by any knowledge, we have induced skin cancer risk like that. But um, you can buy panels or light bulbs or various other devices. Some are for cosmetic use. There's some data that Red light particularly is good for collagen production. Maybe you've got some wrinkles, some creases, some acne, and people have small devices that expose their skin to red light. You can feel a little warmth. It's not hot. You're not going to burn yourself. And you can buy full panels that emit a combination of red light and near infrared light. And the wavelength is very well known. I had, didn't look it up today. I think it's like 680 nanometers and 820. Don't quote me on it. You may know better than me. Um, but so, yes, I teach my patients about it. Um, I have at home, and it's almost a daily ritual to spend 10 to 20 minutes in front of a red light full body panel. But I don't hold still. I'm doing squats and weights and yoga and moving all around because I might as well get some cardio or weights while I'm doing it, even yoga. Um, uh, there's an industry leader that's very expensive. There's some other... Uh, manufacturers that I like that are a little less expensive and very high quality. So what does it have to do with mitochondria? Who knows how this worked out, but there is an enzyme in your Krebs cycle called cytochrome C oxidase. And probably Michael Hamblin, a researcher at Harvard, figured this out because he's written most of the papers on photobiomodulation. Uh, maybe it was another researcher, but it turns out you can create a healthy molecule in the body called nitric oxide, and O, but nitric oxide can get trapped and can be coupled and become sort of an obstacle to creating adequate energy. We want nitric oxide to be out in the circulation, helping our arteries, but it can actually, for reasons I don't understand, gum up the mitochondrial cycle and energy production. And it turns out near infrared light penetrating through the skin can reach mitochondria can uncouple and release, like undoing your seatbelt, the nitric oxide. The nitric oxide is free to potentially reach blood vessels and participate in healthy, healthy blood flow and circulation, and the production of ATP increases. So to date, there's no real clear data that you could take a person having chest uh, angina pain or somebody having congestive heart failure or high blood pressure. Theoretically, by releasing nitric oxide and improving ATP production might have quite a therapeutic benefit. It's just room for future research. But given that other than the expense of these panels in the United States from a few hundred dollars, you can certainly spend over a thousand US dollars. Um, other than the cost, they're very safe. You could use it for an hour or two a day, though most people recommend you know, less 10, 20 minutes. You're not gonna burn yourself. There's debate whether you got to wear eye goggles to protect your eyes or not. Some advocate that, some ignore that. And I really don't know where the truth lies. I, I tend not to wear eye protective gear, but so far I've not noticed anything after years and years. And some people think it actually might improve your vision, but I wouldn't claim that. But there are actually, like in the United States, we have the Food and Drug Administration, the FDA. And there's six or eight FDA approved uses of near infrared and red light. Uh, including weight loss, wound healing, cellulite, cosmetic issues, acne. So this has gone through enough research, publication. And again, anybody's familiar with the U.S. 
National Library of Medicine, pubmed.gov, P-U-B-M-E-D.gov. You just put in photobiomodulation and you'll see thousands of articles. You might put in photobiomodulation and the heart or the skin or blood pressure or sleep and, you know, see what you learn. But there's going to be a lot.